Um, good afternoon. I want to thank the instructors of this course for having given me this opportunity to uh, tell you some of the resources we have for uh, Scilab and related work. Apparently, some of you are interested in uh, uh, Scilab. In fact, these resources are available not only to you, but to uh, also to your students. In fact, all students in the country. So, I, I will uh, explain those. So, let us uh, go to uh, the website for uh, Scilab in India. It is called Scilab.in. Okay. It is called Scilab.in. On the left hand side, you see uh, spoken tutorials. We will uh, come to that shortly. But I want to show you this um, textbook companion project, as you can see on the left hand side. About the project, internship is there. So, some of your students may be interested in doing an internship. If you just click this, you will see um, the procedure. Yeah. So, uh, this uh, remember this internship comes under textbook companion project. Here it is, say summer winter internship. And then there are there is a poster. Um, it says that it is done by some faculty members. Uh, I will just tell you instead of going through this web page, what happens in this textbook companion is take a standard textbook and code all the examples, buttered examples of the book using Scylla. Right. So suppose you have a book on fluid mechanics and somebody has worked out all the buttered examples in Scylla and suppose it is available then it is available for everybody else. So, let us go to completed books. See this link here, completed books. So, let me click there and here it is. In fact, look at the first one, introduction to fluid mechanics by Fox and McDonald. Now, let me click this. There are total of about close to 70 books in this. So, I have clicked this, then it says that this is the author, this is the title, publisher, uh, programmer of the book is Iswar Prasad, fourth year student, B.Tech, National NIT Trichy. He has written this book. He has written this textbook company. What is in that? If we just go here, it says downloads fm.pdf. Let me click this. It is a total of uh, 1 MB. So, it will take some time for it to download. Uh, let me see if it is getting downloaded. Like this. Now, today is March 16th, 4 16 pm, right? This is the one. So, let me just open this open fm dot pdf. So, this is Scilab code for introduction to fluid mechanics by Fox and McDonald, created by Iswar Prasad, created on 29 June. 2010 and then it says it gives everything including the ISPM. So, how do we expect to use this? So, you suppose you go through this book and you say example 4.3 say hey how is this implemented in Scilab. So, you just go to 4.3 there it is 4.3 let us click this here it is 4.03 the code is here. Okay you run it, you'll, you should get the same answer as in the book. So, this is very useful because if you want to teach fluid mechanics using Scilab and suppose you happen to use this textbook, all the examples are already coded. It is available for free download. Now, if you see here, let me, I do not need this, close this. So, let me go back here and see what kind of books are there. So, this is second one is control systems, chemical reaction engineering, unit operation, signals and systems, fiber optic communication, DSP, digital communication. One more thing is there fundamentals of fluid mechanics, control theory, control systems, lots, chemical engineering, thermodynamics we have few books, 
Smith and Vaness is there, mechanical engineering, we do not have any books in mechanical engineering as you can see. And in fact, your students are welcome to do this. Uh, we in fact pay 10,000 uh, 10, rupees honorarium for doing this and to the college teacher who guides the student, we pay 5,000 rupees. Their name also comes on the book. In fact, if you look at this, let me go to the first page. So, for example, college teacher and reviewer, in this case, there was no college teacher, a PhD student from IIT Bombay played this role. But you are most welcome, because you have taught a course, you know some bright students in the class, please ask them to come, ask them to take a standard textbook. Only thing is, there is a procedure, we do not want you to repeat a book that was already done. You do not want to do a book on which somebody else is already working. So, there is a procedure that is already explained. So, all that you have to do is to go to scilab.in, see the textbook companion and all of you can participate and it is going to help everybody. Okay. In fact, the scilab team itself was very happy about it. So, they wanted to, in fact, we are thinking about putting this on the cloud, because if there is such a good facility, then lots of people will come to this site and then we will not be able to handle the load. Not only that, we also are in the process of creating a web version of scilab there. So, that you can say that, you know, why should I download? I can download and use of course, but why should I download? I just want to run it on the web directly. I do not even need a scilab. So, just go there and say, okay, execute 4.3. Then you can even uh, get the program, modify some parameters, run it. So, you will get some different answer. You can do all kinds of things. So, if we create that facility, then lots of people from all over the world will come and use it. Then you know, we should uh, allow that. How do we handle such a load? So, we are thinking of putting it on a cloud along with CDAC, Garuda project of uh, CDAC. So, that is the first resource I wanted to tell you. Uh, I think this is a easy way to get uh, help on the course that you are studying or you are teaching. Okay. So, that is uh, uh, Scilab uh, textbook companion. Similar thing we are planning to do in R, in Python and maybe other open source software packages also it may happen over a period of time. We have found that it typically takes one month for a student to write one textbook companion, because there may be some hundred examples and the typical, uh, typical completed book size is of the order of about uh, 70 to 80 pages. Of course, this one says total of 116 pages. And that person does not have to write all this, we have a submission portal, you have to submit one problem at a time. Okay. It will come and ask what is a book, what chapter and then what example, give a title for that. Then it will say upload whatever you have, you upload, it will upload the whole thing and then it will automatically create this PDF file. We have written a bash script which will put them all together, create a PDF file. So, which means there is no work at all, administrative work at all to create this. Okay. So, we have written that using PHP, MySQL and you know things like that. So, that is one resource I wanted to talk to you about. The other resource I want to talk to you is uh, this spoken tutorials. Uh, it says that this will take you to an external website. So, say okay. it is going to take us to spoken tutorial dot org. Uh, here is the Scilab study plan. You can see that there are 10. In fact, I am going to show you another website. You may want to note this down. In fact, it is the same site that comes here. Look at the top link. We have added new spoken tutorials on LibreOffice, etcetera. It is available in this. So, let me click this. Now, in this site, so it will take you to this interface. It is still transferring data as you can see here. So, this interface has uh, information on many different things. For example, Scilab is already here. You can see that Scilab is here. Uh, LaTeX is here. Apparently, some people wanted Linux. Linux is here. We are also going to give you the CDs. You might have got them from us. Uh, let me take Scilab. Once it is selected, in what language? So, we dub it into various languages. So, let me for a change select Hindi. 
okay. I have to select okay. So, it turns out that we have 6 in uh, Scilab. Similarly, we can let me select uh, let me see I do not know whether Marathi, Amuni are there. I see many people from Maharashtra there, there are quite a few. So, let us select uh, Beamer and watch the selected tutorial. Uh, because it is uh, the internet is very slow it is taking some time, but uh, the size of this file is just about 1 MB per minute. So, it is not at all much if you have a 10 minute tutorial it will be about 10 MB and uh, there it is. Okay. So, I will not uh, you can actually see that. So, Scilab is there, uh, Linux is there, LaTeX is there and we will hopefully be we will add open form also shortly and some of you might have seen open form tutorial. Open form is a good replacement for uh, fluent right because uh, you may not realize it in the colleges you can do anything, but if you go to industry you cannot uh, you need a license right you need an official copy of the software and some of it could be very expensive prohibitively expensive for small companies. Even small companies are entitled to this kind of technology and some of your students could join such small companies they might even start their own companies and they may find that it will be a good thing if they have. Scilab for example, we can use Scilab for data acquisition and control. You may build a device, you may want to automate something, some mechanical engineering students may, some students who work on robotics. So, once again something like that is very useful. So, for many of these things you find, you will find the resources here very useful and we have it in uh, many languages. We have about at this point about 50 in uh, Hindi, uh, we have about 20 in Gujarati, Tamil, and Bengali. Other things we have various numbers, but the idea is to give all these tutorials in all our languages. So, that all the children irrespective of whether they are fluent in English or not, they will be able to follow it irrespective of their family background, whether their parents know English or not, we should still give this technology to them. So, this process is uh, this is work is under progress. So, this is the other thing that I wanted to uh, share with you. I thought about this because I heard that you were talking about resources Scilab CD or Linux CD and the other thing that we do is we conduct workshops using these two hour workshops for your students and then we give certificates for all people who pass a written test online test and these are conducted absolutely free of cost. So, we can do it in all of these we are at this point conducting 300 workshops a month all over the country. So, uh, please uh, in case you are interested um, you can give it to me in uh, I will give it I will give your contact details to our uh, project manager and then she will uh, take it from there. Shama here is our project manager. Okay. So, thank you thanks for giving me this opportunity.